Hello everybody and welcome to this amazing game of Supernova. It's a MOBA that's currently in closed beta. I think it just got recently put into closed beta, I believe. Um, I'm not too aware of everything going on with this game as I was just handed a code to uh, give this game a try and see what it's all about and this game is amazing. I've gotten a couple of games in. Uh, it is early in the morning. I doubt I'm gonna get a game again. Uh, I'll probably get lucky if I do. Um, but there's just a few things I wanted to show you guys that this game just kind of does uniquely and see if you guys are interested in it because I most definitely am and I'm hopping on this game as soon as I can. Uh, which there is to be no worries. I'm not quitting any other game for this one It's just another game to add to the list of many many games I play because this game is very enjoyable and has a unique style of play uh, Typically MOBAs focus a lot on the heroes champions or gods that you're provided and you build that character up to a point where they become Almost unstoppable and it's all about two teams clashing together. However in this game it takes an RTS style and you know, makes it about the units as much as the commanders. Your commander is important, but your units are just as important, and units can turn the tide of battle alone. And um, so the way that you get into a game, the way it's played, uh, is just so different from the average MOBA that I've played. I've played tons of them out there, uh, but this one's unique, and to me it's kind of like at the StarCraft feel, uh, because it's really sci-fi. Uh, and techie, uh, you get to play one of two factions, human or cyborg. I'm currently playing on human, uh, but you can play every commander on whatever faction. It just alters the units you get to uh, purchase, uh, which we'll get into talk about as soon as the game gets in. Um, additionally, there are so many things taken into consideration, such as the uh, units themselves, uh, technologies that you can equip your units with, uh, tactical devices that you can uh, put on. So the way you buy your units, since I'm a low level, I haven't unlocked all the slots. Uh, but you can select which units you purchase in game that assist you. So currently I have a uh, slot of five. You start with only four, but each unit serves a purpose and is better against certain units. And so you can only have so many units in one lane per wave. So you want to kind of divvy out what your lane is going to have plus your commander obviously makes a great influence as well uh, there's augmentations that you can do uh, all in which you give to your units uh, a good amount of commanders to play from this is in closed beta uh, they do give me a good variety to play from and I've played quite a few and I've had fun with every one of them and they felt completely different so far the way you play them their tactics and the way you uh, power them up there are no items in this game, there is no shop. Instead, there is a unique kind of um, a tribute and uh, we'll get to what you do with them in a moment, but it's a very interesting way to play. Uh, and then tactical abilities are like your actives or your uh, summoner abilities from League if you're a League player. But these are the abilities that have a high cooldown, but take effect. It's, it's a way that any commander could use these, um, all from healing to utility combat damage. Uh, I currently use Peacemaker and the Medical Drone, uh, which are perfect for me. I still have plenty to unlock, but let's go ahead and see what the end game is like. Alright everybody, I'm finally in my game. Uh, it's, it was a little late, so the queue was high obviously, not too many people playing in the mid-morning, but here we are, um, a whole bunch of characters, uh, commanders to choose from. Uh, I'm not sure what every uh, commander is exactly other than bloat right there. That guy right there has a uh, pretty good, but I wanted to try out a character that I have yet to play. Um, I think he's one of them, and I think uh, I will give him or I don't think I've gotten I don't think I've given uh, Alias to try it, but let's give him a shot. So you get to pick your commander here These are the lanes you are stuck at these you choose your lane So if you want, don't want this lane specifically you can ask to swap lanes uh, These are your tacticals like we've talked about before and I'm gonna go ahead and lock in Because uh, I'm okay with my lane and uh, so I guess we're just waiting for the one person in mid to accept it and uh, We just get into our game so uh 
I'm not sure if there's any way for me to look at anything about my character right now, but there are things to understand and consider. Uh, the first thing is, there are currently three characters on the opposing team, which are bots, all of them, uh, that actually are donning skins. Uh, Mortonica here is donning the Miss, uh, Miss Assin uh, skin. He's uh, Maxim is donning the Bone Legion, and Vika is donning Clockwork. All of which look really nice, and it's really cool that the bots actually show off the skins. It lets me look at how awesome they look, and if I'm interested, I'll take them. Honestly, uh, my first time jumping in this, I had seen a couple of skins, and I thought those were the characters. I was like, oh wait, no, those are skins. Uh, but so far, I've played a lot of Bloat, and I really like Bloat. He's adorable, and his skin of Doctor is just amazing. Oh, I could go on about how awesome this game is, and I'm already so into this. It only took a couple of games. Like I was a little confused at first, but once you, once you get the tutorials out of the way, you are ready to go. So first things first, I'm actually going to so, purchase my exoskeleton factory and upgrade my resource income. This is the uh, commander's points. You get proficiencies and attributes. Attributes are the damage that you deal, so, uh, or well, all your stats and. I like uh, damage and attack speed. Proficiencies, however, are kind of like your items, and these are all of them. They give you the suggested core, but these are all of them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead dregs. and head up here. I'm gonna purchase two units and try to build an armory so I can get these uh, tactical engineers going. Mercenary forces at the ready, so commander. When you, when you purchase these, uh, so this tells me in my lane for my units, the I have will bow down before one of me. each spawning every wave which is pretty cool. Um, on top of that, let me grab this Scourge of Legatus ability. So also every fourth level, I believe it's fourth or fifth, you get uh, your alt. Um, I think we're not earned yet. Uh, but you get this automatically when you hit the correct level. You don't have to spend a point in it. Uh, the max level no is 15. And oh God, this is just so much to go on about this game and I love it. This game is great, awesome and has so much to it that it's hard to discuss it all at once, but I'm gonna give you guys Firing. a feel of the game, ow. First blood. Shot immediately. The first kill of the oh man. Commander disconnected from battle. Oh, it Double looks like kill. we've already lost somebody. Our middle guard tower is under attack. So standing next to a turret gives you this aura here, Revitalize, which increases your life regen. They will it's not the greatest, death. but it definitely helps out. Alright, so I took a little bit of damage. My character has no energy, instead he Crush works off fury. Things. So he's kind of like a warrior in, in a sense. Um, I believe he's a brawler type, if I'm not mistaken. He d does pretty well, and I really I like him. This honor. Um, I didn't get to play him Bow too much, down. I played him in one game, I think. Uh, but I wanted to try a sniper out, and I, I guess I just chose him because it was a safe pick. But hey, it's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and build another Pathfinder, which is these little way. infantry guys. They're good at taking damage, so they're great at being up front. Wow. Let's see if we can punish this. Bow down. Boys. Oh, we got him. Bury my hammer. We got him. Someone's skull. You Ow. would not last a day in the arena. Oh, we both did it. That was so awesome. Healing is intense. Will beg for death. Die. Go ahead and whip her. I am superior. Oh, here we go. So the characters all have cool uh, voices, and you can hear everybody's. So it's not just your own. Additionally, notice that I'm getting attribute points, and that these like green markers come up telling me I am. Receiving some sort of points. Out Those are attribute way. points, and every 100 of these you gain, Enemy you gain one out. attribute point to use to upgrade your character. Every five attribute points is one proficiency point, which is like an item. None for you, so. I don't think I can get really deep in there, but let's try to get a forge so I can start building stingers. The more units you purchase, the better resources you get they per way. Beg for death. Wow. Gotta be careful here. I'm not the strongest. So a couple of shots really get in my way here. Oh, I think I can punish that though. Oh, destroyed. There we go. We are working well together. Alright. 
Just gotta keep getting as many proficiencies as possible. So my ally just backed me, if you notice. I'll go over that backing system, which is a little different than some games, so uh, which is pretty cool. I actually really like uh, the backing Crush in this these game. Dregs. So I gotta get closer. I'm just trying to stay Die. close and relevant to the fight, but not get targeted by the tower. Let's see if I can deal damage to it. Giving myself a shield. Rule this day. Oh, we're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. Go ahead and back. So how this works is a plane comes to pick you up. You have to remain in this area until uh, the timer runs out to be picked up. If you miss it, then you can't back and you got to wait for the cooldown, which isn't too bad. Uh, so I'm going to increase my attack, my health, and maybe my attack again. Now i got proficiencies. Uh, the suggested is uh, Brawler's Damage, which is fine by me. I kind of liked it. And Regeneration is pretty cool, too. Um... So we're gonna go ahead and grab brawler damage. I really like Never cooldowns. Never shall alias relent. Ooh, time to grab a scorpion. So here it shows I get 276 per wave. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my income and see if I can get that done. There is a second ability I'll show off later, which is drop off. It has a very high cooldown, but from the base you could drop off anywhere on the map. But it, again, 360 seconds all is of them long huge. Ago. So it's wise to be aware of that. Jungle minions are hard to fight. Um, as far as I know, there are, there are probably characters better or proficiencies better at taking out of my them way. out. So it just takes a little effort and time. This will slow down. Uh -oh. Watch out for that. Hey, buddy, don't be hitting me. Kill streak ended. Take what is oh, no. All right, let's see. Double time. Gonna uh -oh. drop a tactical new. Enemy taken out. Oh. Have got to be kidding me. You may die now. Enemy <sighs> top guard tower pretty destroyed. Pretty good. So notice that my is enemy is attack. starting to build a variety of units here, and if I don't know what counters what, this game provides you a way to do they so. First no off, it gives you suggestions, victory. and second, you could check this meter. It shows what your enemies have built and what is good against them, so you can build accordingly. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and build an engineer due to the recommendations you could and just I'll continue still on. Kill you. Die. Oh, this guy yeah. is mean. I he deserve doesn't... this honor. You probably do. It doesn't mean you're any less mean. I mean, jeez. Wow. To me. Uh oh. Damn. So I'm gonna get dash out of here. Enemy taken out. Wow. Oh, that was so Carnage. awesome. If you were not dead, you could work in our minds. He is so nice. He is I such a forgiving commander. They will kneel before me. I don't think I can take one of those bigger ones. Definitely gonna heal up here. So we're both level 6. Our opponent's only level 4. I can buy another Stinger. And uh, I really want scorpions, though. Scorpions, fools. to me, are really good. Um, can't get any more resource upgrades, and I can't afford any of those yet. Just go ahead and Our whip forces away. have destroyed the enemy's middle guard tower. All right, looks like we're making progress. So you ever need to know what your your progress is against your opponents up here? Shows what towers are down, which ones are under attack by flashing. And your so end. on, so forth. Obliteration. Oh, oh, looks like we took some heavy Die. damage there. Never shall alias relent. I have Slayer. a feeble attempt. Alright, so I got a proficiency. I think now. Uh, I could save for one more wave. Ooh. Do not want to be the target of that. <laughs> Put up a shield, but just wasn't enough. Been destroyed. All right, yeah, we're out. Took way too much damage for being stupid. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do the recommendation, get another scorpion, then probably purchase an airbase next. But so now, as I'm flying back, I'm able to get more. I can upgrade brawler damage, which also increases. If you notice at the bottom, it says we increase the wa max weapon damage. Weapon damage, okay. the max is 11. And so if I upgrade Brawler damage, I get more max, which increases that so I can put more tribute points into it. Currently, Our one thing I know I love is Lifesteal. So I'm going to grab Lifesteal, a couple of damage, 
attack speed, health, armor, and damage. There we go. I feel balanced that way, and now it's time to do some drop-off. From base, I can drop off anywhere I want, which I'm going to choose here. The further away you choose, the longer it takes to get to the location. Of course, the same applies to backing. And to be honest, I'm strong, loving what this they game. Can. Now, I and haven't figured out must. the meta for jungling, to be honest. Submit. But, you know, it's always fun. And so there's a whole bunch of down. proficiencies to go down and things to learn to do. You know, it's just there's so much to learn that this game is so in depth. I I I'm just enjoying this. Oh, I got help! Got help! Got help! If you survive, all right. There we go. Came in on that. Work together like a team. Die. Oh, why me? So, I now this turret drone kind of came out of nowhere. Over Slayer. time, turrets get Double better kill. defense. So, turrets just don't Enemy become easier to destroy. They destroyed. actually become harder as you go along. So, I think getting I early tower destruction is a Rudgery. good thing. But again, wow. haven't played enough of this to say for sure, but I'm pretty sure. Maybe, because <laughs> I, Die. I'm just having a whole lot of fun. That's all this game, and that's really all that matters to me. It's like, is a game fun? This game I screams my fun to me. All of them long ago. See if I can handle this. Submit. Yeah, I'm gonna actually get one of these. See how my lane is doing. Still doing good. Still doing really good, actually. I thought. Die. Carnage. Don't need to use it. But I'll help him out. Why not? It ends here. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's Perfect. middle guard tower. So uh, let's see. On the ninth level, I got another level up to my alt. I so maybe it's every three levels. Drudgery. Which would make sense. Every third level, you get your alt. Oh wow, that was a pretty cool ability. Die. We are whipping away. Into the fray. Obliteration. Uh oh. Seems like my ally's having a little trouble, so I'm gonna try to help out. They will cower in my presence. Oh come on! There we go. Still fight. Barely made Brute it out. Force. Grab their you are healing finished. turret. Finish healing what I can and get out. Uh, purchase another Slayer. scorpion. So I got another proficiency point. All that I'm doing, I'm getting a whole bunch of uh, attributes, and there's so much to do. This game is relatively short because it's against uh, bots, but hey, you know it's still very fun. I'm still learning the game, and I think bots are a great way to learn how to play. Enemy uh, middle guard here. tower I think destroyed. I want carry burst. Carry burst gives me both attack speed and critical chance. Then I can also upgrade my attack speed even further and my damage even further. Uh, now I can't use the drop off the point, strong so I'm gonna do just slowly make the my way back out there. Suffer what they must. Now, I'm not sure if there's movement speed upgrades. Uh, there Destroyer. could be proficiencies for movement speed, somewhere in there. Um, but that's not one of the stats, so I don't think so. Might be though. You never know. Into the fray. Uh, like I said, I haven't gotten to look at everything. That's just how awesome and Die. in depth this game is. There's there's so much to be had. So there is a maximum unit of number, uh, of you, a maximum number of units you can have, which is uh, 40 me. for my lane, I believe. So I have 20, and my ally gets 20 as well. I'm gonna try to capture one of these uh, jungle points. This is a upgrade module. It provides a tribute charge to the capturing huh. team. Die. So with my life steal and my attack speed and chance to crit, I should be able to handle this. These things are really tough. And I don't know if they get tougher as the game goes along, but I just know that they are really tough. You could surrender. I'll still kill you. There we go. So with that being down, I believe I've captured it, and then my team gets that point for this time on. And then when it respawns, we can retake it again to get a tribute. The enemy shirts. will bow down before me. Now this is the big boss area which has this cool boss that if you destroy it, it goes into every lane. 
and it causes havoc for everybody. I love it. Submit. Great. Uh oh. Does my ally need help? I'll be over there in a minute. No match. Okay, let's see if I can assist. Get behind here. I think they know what they're doing. They got this game. Brute Gonna force. come in through here and see if I can't get a gang. They will beg for death. No. Brute force. There we go. Though I only got the assist, it was worth the gang. I really like this character. He doesn't feel like the rest, definitely. Especially with Fury, huh. he's unique. And, you know, it might just be me, but I really like using a whip. And the diversity of these characters is cool. When I first got a look at this and I saw robots, I was like, ah, how could robots be unique? And then, you know, you play it and you're like, oh, well, clearly I had no idea what this game was about, and now I do. This game is stupid fun. Like, amazing. Destroyer. Like, I didn't think I could have this much fun, like, going back into a MOBA that was... I haven't played a point-and-click MOBA for quite some time now. Um, used to play League. Um, which I dropped out for Smite, and now that going back to this, I am having a lot of fun utilizing my lane minions. I don't always have to Over be here because my minions actually do make a difference. Enemy top guard tower destroyed. Oh boy! Uh, oh, oh, I missed him. Our forces oh, no. have That's destroyed the enemy's bottom guard tower. Firing. Uh -oh. They must be. Kill zone. Oh no. Die. Right, looks like I'm gonna have to fight. Incoming shocker. For never shall Let's see if I can get this. Go alt. Executioner. Boom. There we go. Got lucky. Tactical nuke. Tactical nuke really helped out. The peacemaker is a wonderful. Oh crap. Yeah, the main base does. Uh, it does defend itself quite well. So uh, you just gotta really make sure that you I got your back. don't become the target of said things. Submit. A destroyer. Let's see if I get some life Over still here. going. He's got a healing ward here. Die. A careless mistake. Okay, so it's targeting him. Let's see if I can take out one of the shields that's protecting this. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's bottom guard tower. Enemy That's top one. shield generator destroyed. Two. Our forces have destroyed the enemy's middle shield generator. All right, I think I'm gonna make it. Carry Girl. on the fight, boys. Executioner. You would not be enslaved. Here's your freedom. Uh oh, I might die. I am no more. No. Two oh, down. barely making it. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Oh, that was so close. Did as much as I could while I was there. I am getting out. So I actually have more proficiency. So as you notice, I've been buying different proficiencies. Now I'm actually going to upgrade one, probably the lifesteal one, which does the same effects. It should. It gives me four more max weapon. Plus it gives me the middle effect, which is the 30 weapon damage and the 24% lifesteal, which is beautiful. I also have way too many points to spend, so just kind of divvy that out. And of course, since I've waited long enough, there's the drop off, which I can't drop off inside their base, obviously, but now I can drop off outside. So there are also research things which increase their damage, armor, what, whatever you've equipped it to do, None shall and escape. you can upgrade it if you've got the resources, which I did, because I have not been spending. Die. Slaughter. I can't get close enough. You Double time. fall. I don't want to. Our I kind of wanna. Why'd you enemy. Why'd you leave me, man? Double kill. Kill zone. Stop shooting me. I don't want to deal with you. Two Stop battle. it. Uh, All right, fine. I'm gonna. Kidding. Okay. Domination. All right. I did not mean to jack that. You deal a lot of damage. Now I the have fray. played tanks, which are fun. You just like this unstoppable beast. Uh, there's so much health regeneration Our you can get. Our have destroyed the enemy's bottom shield generator. So once you once you have all three shield generators, it's down pretty fast, and the game itself is pretty fun. I mean, I haven't had this much fun with uh, an RTS game in a long time, and I don't like RTS. But when you get into um, when you get into this, it's like it takes the micromanagement of RTS and puts it in MOBA style and it's 
works, I think. I like it. I love it. I, I've always complained that minions were just there to be a kind of cannon fodder. And now they're actually a thing. Something you need to take care of, manage, because they are important. No matter how good your commander does, it's really the minions or units that really push through. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Um, so this is the end screen of it all. I can check the player stats. I did a lot of, uh, I got a good, really good commander score. No deaths. Um, I almost died the one time. I got four stars for doing, getting the best commander score, least deaths, creep kills. And that's kind of cool. They award you with these little star things. Um, oh, look at that. Cholo tribute points, kills, and damage absorbed. That's very nice. So you get awarded for doing good. And that's awesome. There's also so much about this game outside of the actual gameplay that sets you up uh, that I, I can't even get into. There's just so much. I really just wanted to let you guys see what the gameplay was like um, because I definitely enjoy this game. And um, I just hit level four. There's a lot for me to do. I still got co-op games. I just unlocked a new unit, the Spider Cannon. Um, and there's new unit, uh, units I can purchase with in-game currency. Uh, there's also things you could purchase with... Uh, Platinum. Let's see what's what's the exchange on the platinum. Is it? Let's see for twenty dollars, it's about eleven thousand. Ooh, that's not half bad. A bonus twenty percent if you get all thirty. Um, wow, thirty thousand. So, and I think they have even like starter packs and booster packs, which are pretty cool. Um, skins and ooh, those those aren't too expensive. You know, you get a good twenty dollar pack and get quite a few skins. Uh, commanders don't cost too much in-game money. I, I'm pretty sure I've, I've only played like like a total of three of the co-op games. I'm already at a thousand. That's not half bad. Of course, that's with the level up bonuses. But as you go along and play, I, I got about 50 during that game. And the game wasn't too bad or too long. And like I said, the tutorial takes you through and teaches you a lot about this game. There's so much to dive into. There's even skins for the commanders, skins for your units. And, of course, these packages that I, I'm personally going to be looking into because I think these are really cool. Um, which provide you with a set of items within the game. And uh, they got loadouts for you to do with your... Um, which are the researching items. And you craft with in-game items. Shows what the total stats are for, I believe, your units. And like I said, units are super important. Your tactics, commanders... So now I've got six units that I can purchase and utilize and strategize with. Uh, and then there's the two factions you got to level up with. I, I think I played Alias twice, Bloat once. But I played Bloat during the uh, tutorials, which was really fun. Um, so, you know, I hope you guys like this game. Um, it's currently in closed beta. just left alpha, I think, at the end of July, which was really cool. Um, and I, I'm, I'm really happy I get to look get a first look at this and hopefully give you guys a look at to what this game is going to be when it comes out. Thank you everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell me everything you liked about this game in the comments below. And as always, good game.